Welcome back to today's Photo Minute. My name is Brian Osborne of the Photo Classroom, and uh, uh, we're starting off a new week. I thank you for those of you that uh, joined us for the Shoot and Share uh, this past weekend, uh, where our two challenges were, um, which I'm actually going to be talking more about, but our two challenges were sports equipment as well as uh, least used lens or least used uh, focal length on a particular lens if you have a limited selection of lenses. And please feel free to continue to uh, post your pictures there. Uh, you can do that as a comment onto that post on our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you uh, explored with these two challenges and how you kind of interpreted those and had fun with those as well, getting out and shooting. Um, you know, in case you think those challenges are just kind of for uh, for, for, for just you that are following along, they actually have really, been really beneficial for myself as well as I've been doing them with you. And um, I wanted to share with you just quickly one of the things that I kind of took away or a couple things that I learned. Um, my least used lens, um, I, I do have a large variety of lenses, but uh, my least used lens um, was a fisheye lens. It's a uh, ultra wide of ultra wides. The particular one I have is a Nikon 10.5 fisheye. And um, it shows almost 180 degrees out the left and the right side of the lens. Here's the lens right here. Nice little lens. Uh, there's different varieties of fish eyes that you can get. And they're really fun to play with. I've, I've had um, lots of fun with this over years, but just haven't used it much over the past months. So I decided to make that my, um, my least used lens and to use it some this weekend. And uh, two things that I took away from it that was kind of interesting. One is that I've really forgotten just how... Uh, wide it is. Uh, in fact, I got my feet in a lot more pictures than I had really planned on because it was just showing such a wide angle of view. Uh, the second thing, uh, kind of along the lines of what we've been talking about with our macro and getting close, is that uh, I really took full advantage of the minimum focusing distance of the lens. And the minimum focusing distance of this lens is about two inches. And so uh, for many of the flower shots that you may see that I posted, um, I was only about two inches away from the from the tip of the uh, subject matter. And, um, and, and in order to still get a lot in the picture because it was pretty wide angle, but uh, I was physically very, very close because of the aspect of the lens. And so it kind of, uh, it, was, it was fun to play with and it was fun to think of some shots that I could do that were more unique with this lens than they would be with my standard zoom lenses, et cetera. And um, that really got me thinking a little bit more just about uh, uh, just the value of making sure that you know what each one of your pieces of equipment, specifically your lenses, are capable of. And um, it, what you might actually want to do is even break it down to maybe just using one lens, um, a lens that maybe you aren't as familiar with, and keep using it for a variety of subject matters. That could be um, uh, different subject matters over the course of a day or over the course of a week even, uh, etc. Um, but it's really helpful to know that, uh, you know, sometimes these pieces of equipment that uh, we buy, we don't always get the most out of them. And, um, and partially because we aren't really familiar with some of their purposes. I know a couple of the people that shared on our shoot share uh, actually use their little prime lens, the little 35 or 50 millimeter lens and uh, a lens that they own for a long time but haven't really used much. And yet it's a great lens to throw your background out of focus, great lens for low light as well. And, um, you know, you, you talk about just being familiar with everything that you want to carry with you on a trip, et cetera. Um, you know, we would often suggest that if you were to go on a, uh, some type of uh, photo trip period, uh, it could be vacation, just general travel, that you would carry a prime lens, something like that 35 or 50 millimeter f1.8 lens as a backup. Because if your main lens breaks, which can happen, it happened to me recently on a trip, uh, if your 18 to 300 millimeter lens, your 18 to 50 mil 55 millimeter lens um, stops working or something happens to it, then uh, you might be shooting the rest of your images with that prime lens. And while it may not be ideal, it's great to know that that lens still has a lot of capabilities. And when you ever do one of these just one lens type shoots, when you just kind of um, I'm, I'm going to go out, I'm going to find every subject I can to shoot with just one lens on my camera, even just for a short period of time. What you start to realize is that uh, there are a lot of capabilities and you start to actually look for shots that favor the actual uh, lens and its characteristics that you are um, using or limited to, even if it's self-limiting to just that one lens. And so... Um, 
I just want to encourage you to maybe try that exercise, whether it's today or uh, later on this week, uh, if you want to uh, continue to follow up on the two challenges and go ahead and share those online, that would be great as well. And then also keep in mind that uh, part of the reason for doing the equipment post today, as well as probably we'll do one more one this week, is that we actually have a virtual class. It's a class that we don't offer very often, uh, but it's called equipment uh, Photography Equipment, Everything You Need to Know. It's a class coming up this Thursday. I think there's only about two spots left in it, but we cover all kinds of things that would help your buying decisions, help your, even if you own lots of stuff, you can't carry it all with you. So how do you kind of dictate what types of um, uh, selections of equipment you might take with you on different types of photo shoots. We talk about camera bags and their different purposes and different uses. We talk about filters. Um, and uh, where they come into play, et cetera. So it might be a great class. If you haven't already registered for it, you might want to check it out. But uh, I just thought it'd be a great time to talk about uh, what I learned from just using um, a, a lens that I'm not all that familiar with, haven't used that much uh, often, and uh, what I learned this weekend from doing the challenge along with you. And I, just to encourage all of us to keep doing that, to keep picking up the pieces of equipment that we don't use as much and to get familiar with how we can get the most out of whatever we have in our hands to get photographs that are uh, pleasing and that we really enjoy. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for joining me again for today's Photo Minute. My name is Brian Osborne, and I hope you have a great day.